All right. I know this is a hip hop channel. Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. But I was in here editing video, then every phone started blowing up and YouTube started going crazy with um, Donald Trump, former president, getting shot at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. And I was just looking at the chat on some of these videos, a lot of people saying it's fake stage, this, that, the other. They said that the, I think the shooter's dead and another person was either dead or got injured. This is a crazy, crazy situation. We will see how this play out. There's a lot of talks in politics and civil war talk and Biden talk and this. And I'm like not political. I like history, hip hop history. I like other history. I bought this book directly from this author, Robert Groden. He was a young dude at the time when JFK got assassinated. I'm fascinated by JFK assassination. Um, just crazy. It's just crazy. This book right here is the real true deal. It's a very expensive book. He signed it right there. Um, I'm talking, the stuff that's in here, people do not know. It shows multiple shots. Get If you know anything about this and you still think that um, Lee Harvey Oswald did this, you were bugging out of your mind. Lee Harvey Oswald was a true, true patsy. Totally set up, CIA, FBI, he was a total set up, fall guy. He got assassinated by Jack Ruby, which was associated with the people who had this done. In this book is a page of people who had it, they had, had it set it up. They set him up. He was totally, totally set up. He had some big enemies. It's crazy, but just um, crazy that this just took place. Um, real or fake, let me know what you think. Some people, like I said, they saying it's fake, but these things do happen. Look, autopsy photos in here. This is a phenomenal book. Um, and this is a lot of more lot more footage. Everybody knows there's a Pruder film. And that shot did come from the Grassy Knoll. Like I can't I want to go down to Dallas so I can go to this area and see. Um you can see these are this this page here is just showing where the bullets hit the ground and um CIA, I mean the FBI went and they took them for evidence and stuff, went and took the whole part of the they cut the semen out and took it. But this is a great book. Great book. That's some um, Lee Harvey Oswald of uh, autopsy photos. Jack Ruby killed him after it happened. He was saying, I'm a patsy, I'm a patsy, in the police station. And the cops kind of let Jack Ruby get up front so they can kill him. It's crazy. This book is great. This book is great. These are all witnesses stating where the shots came from because it's all this controversy. Um, but, wow. But, yeah, this is a great book. There's Jackie Onassis. She, at his head, like, his head got blown out the back, like back right side, and um, she crawled up on the back of the limo. It's a famous, if you've seen the footage, it's a famous, it might be coming up now. Where's that? I can't find it right now. It might be a little bit later, but it's a famous scene where she climbed up on the back of the limo. What she was going to get was a piece of his skull. Like, and then another piece was found like 40 feet away. It's just crazy, but these president, these assassinations, man, happened. But he had made himself, and look at this photo right here of his head exploding. Um, just crazy stuff, man. Just crazy. But this is a great book. I've been reading this. I'm about, I'm like past halfway. I'm like right here, past halfway. But great book. Just wanted to share this with you because this comes on the heels of um, what's going on right now. This just story just broke probably what 20 minutes ago. So I was, let me jump on here and do a quick talk um, on my channel about it. But, yeah, it says Trump rally. I'm looking on my YouTube. It's up in front of me right now. It says Trump rally shooting. Trump injured in shooting. Um, he went down. I saw him. He was holding his ear and then came up with blood and he started pumping his fist. <laughs> and uh, people started yelling USA, USA. But, yeah, this is a crazy time in this country right now. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at. I'm just going to be watching and observing. Watching and observing. I mean... Do what you do when it comes to voting, but I'm going to be watching and observing. I'm going to continue to keep reading this book right here because it's so good. I'm almost, like I said, I'm halfway through. I think I'm on the part. What are we going to go? I think we're going to Lee Harvey Oswald. Where I'm at right now. What part? Which happens? Oh, yeah, JFK missing brain. Yeah, his brain went missing from the autopsy. It's so many elaborate cover. Look, oh, these are uh, autopsy photos. It's crazy. Look at his head. Like, And they, it's fake photos. They fake some stuff. This is all real. This is uh, entry wound, exit wound. Because through his throat, he got hit in the throat. If you watch the footage, you'll see he crouched his arms up. He got hit in the throat through one shot. He got shot through the three times. One from the back, one uh, through the throat, and then the final shot through the temple, which blew the back of his head out. The, that photo is right there. This is a great book. Um, great book. It was expensive, but I had to, uh, I had to get it. 
I heard this guy, Robert Gruden. I heard him before, but I heard him speaking on a podcast and was saying that he's putting the book back in production. If you want one, to send him an email. So I went on and I was like, you know what? I got I got to cop that. So I went on a cop. I got a bunch of history books. I got I got Malcolm X. I got my I got some books. I got some books, man. I need to bring them back out. But a lot of them are um, just stored away. I need to bring them back out. But yeah. So um, everybody out there, stay dangerous. Peace. Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. Robert Groden, as you look back at the Warren Commission, what are your thoughts? There are so many. Number one, um, it's consistent that they're talking about was Oswald wrong, was Oswald with somebody else. Never once considering that Oswald might have not been there at all, might not have done it at all. As it turns out, there's an eyewitness named Geraldine Reed who was on the second floor across from the lunchroom. Oswald, one minute before the shooting, walked in and asked for a change of a dollar bill so he could use the coke cups. And while Mrs. Reed was counting out the money into his hands, the shots went off. Oswald had a airtight alibi, and he could never have been convicted at trial. When you look at the uh, at the uh, the beginning of the war and volumes of the report you'd look at the what the charges were and the charges were to inspect oswald and the cia oswald and this oswald and that oswald and back and forth they never once considered that oswald might not have been involved at all they never looked at anybody they started with a good conclusion and that's what they went for yeah but mark zaid you know that seems to me there's a lot of questions you can ask I've studied this pretty closely. The question of whether Oswald was involved seems pretty overwhelming to me. Um, eyewitness testimony uh, can be questionable. A single eyewitness who says something different than all the rest of the evidence to me is not particularly uh, persuasive, but it doesn't seem, again, this is my opinion, my analysis, that there is any question that Oswald was involved. No, I, I'm with you on that. Look, the Warren Commission, for sure, had its deficiencies. It was reliant, for the most part, on the FBI, which had done its own investigation and, and issued internally about a dozen volumes. I actually own one of the few sets that's probably in private hands of what their investigation was and handed that off. And there was a lot of information, just like Burke Griffin said, that wasn't told to them. The commission didn't know about the CIA's attempts to assassinate Castro, Yet Alan Dulles, the former director, was a member and withheld that. In fact, Dulles told the other members that CIA officials who might testify before them would lie to them in order to protect secrets. I remember 30 years ago, uh, Bert Griffin probably doesn't remember this, but he and I spoke together at a conference on the 30th anniversary uh, in Chicago. And I remember a conversation I had with him where we asked, uh, I asked him about well, what about the fact that Jack Ruby had been a low-level informant for the FBI in 1959, and they didn't tell you that? What would you have done? And, Bert, I remember you saying, you know, it would have led you down different pathways, different questions would have been asked, but probably, as we know now, 60 years later, would have ended up nowhere. It wouldn't have made any difference to the final conclusions uh, of certain facts that, like 